Could we be on the brink of discovering alien life? A bold revelation from NASA suggests we might be closer than ever before. Welcome back, space enthusiasts. Today, we dive into an extraordinary new discovery that has scientists buzzing. NASA has found a new planet unlike anything we've seen before, with mysterious lights that might hint at something beyond our wildest imaginations. Is this the evidence of extraterrestrial life we've been searching for? Join us as we unravel the secrets of this incredible finding. In 2007, NASA launched the Dawn spacecraft to explore intriguing objects in our solar system. Equipped with advanced ion engines for an unprecedented journey, Dawn's mission began with a 14-month survey of Vesta, the second largest asteroid in the belt. This survey revealed Vesta's complex surface and geological history. After completing its mission at Vesta, Dawn set course for Ceres, the largest object in the asteroid belt. Ceres, discovered in 1801 by Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi, holds many secrets due to its unique characteristics. As Dawn approached, scientists eagerly awaited detailed images of this mysterious world, particularly its bright spots in a crater named Ocator. The bright spots on Ceres sparked immediate interest and speculation. Initially seen as ice patches or mineral deposits, these spots were later identified as highly reflective salts, hinting at the possibility of cryovolcanism, volcanoes that erupt water or briny liquid instead of molten rock. This suggests ongoing geological activity and potentially subsurface water reservoirs. Ceres stands out due to its icy composition, more akin to a comet than a typical asteroid. Its surface is a mix of water ice and hydrated minerals, hinting at significant water content. This unique makeup suggests a history involving both rocky and icy materials, further intriguing scientists about its potential for geological activity. One of Ceres' most striking features is Ahuna Mons a solitary mountain possibly formed by cryovolcanism. This, along with other bright spots, indicates that Ceres might still be geologically active, challenging previous assumptions about its nature. The discovery of water ice and potential subsurface briny reservoirs on Ceres has profound implications for astrobiology. The presence of water in any form is crucial for the potential for life as we understand it. Water is a universal solvent, facilitating the biochemical reactions necessary for life. Its presence on Ceres significantly raises the possibility that this dwarf planet could harbor microbial life or at least provide the necessary conditions for life to potentially exist. Ceres, the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, has intrigued scientists since its discovery. For many years, it was thought to be a relatively inert rocky body, much like the other asteroids in its vicinity. However, the Dawn spacecraft launched by NASA has dramatically altered this perception. Dawn's mission to Ceres provided invaluable data, leading to the groundbreaking discovery of water ice on its surface. Even more intriguing is the evidence suggesting that there are subsurface briny reservoirs beneath its crust. These findings transform our understanding of Ceres and open up new avenues for research in planetary science and astrobiology. Water ice on the surface of Ceres indicates that this dwarf planet has the potential to sustain life, albeit microbial. Microbial life, if it exists, would likely be similar to extremophiles on Earth, organisms that thrive in extreme environments, such as the briny subglacial lakes of Antarctica or the hydrothermal vents deep in the ocean. The potential subsurface briny reservoirs on Ceres could create similar habitats. These reservoirs, being rich in salts, could lower the freezing point of water, maintaining it in a liquid state despite the frigid temperatures in space. This liquid water, combined with essential minerals, could provide a viable environment for microbial life. The implications of finding life, or even the potential for life, on Ceres are monumental. It would not only expand our understanding of where life can exist but also how life can adapt to different environments. Discovering microbial life on Ceres would suggest that life might be more common in the universe than previously thought. It would imply that life can arise independently in diverse and extreme environments, increasing the likelihood of finding life elsewhere in our solar system and beyond. Moreover, the discovery of water ice and briny reservoirs on Ceres also has significant implications for future astrobiological missions. Ceres now stands out as a prime candidate for further exploration. Future missions could focus on drilling into the surface to access the subsurface reservoirs directly, searching for signs of life. These missions would require sophisticated technology and careful planning to avoid contamination, ensuring that any life detected is indeed native to Ceres and not a result of Earth-based contamination. 
Astrobiological missions to Ceres could employ a variety of techniques to search for life. For instance, they could use advanced imaging technologies to map the distribution of water ice on the surface. They could also employ spectrometers to analyze the chemical composition of the surface and subsurface materials, looking for organic compounds and other potential biosignatures. Additionally, landers or rovers could be deployed to collect samples and conduct in situ analysis, providing more detailed and direct evidence of the potential for life. The exploration of Ceres could also help scientists understand the broader processes that govern the formation and evolution of icy bodies in the solar system. By studying the geology and chemistry of Ceres, researchers can gain insights into the conditions that prevailed in the early solar system. This, in turn, can inform our understanding of how water and organic molecules, the building blocks of life, are distributed throughout the solar system and potentially beyond. Furthermore, the potential for life on Ceres highlights the importance of planetary protection protocols. Any mission to Ceres would need to adhere to strict guidelines to prevent contamination of this potentially habitable environment. This would involve careful sterilization of spacecraft and instruments, as well as protocols to ensure that any samples returned to Earth are handled in a way that prevents contamination of our own biosphere. The discovery of water ice and potential subsurface briny reservoirs on Ceres also has implications for the search for life on other icy bodies in the solar system. For example, Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, and Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons, both have subsurface oceans beneath their icy crusts. The study of Ceres can provide a comparative basis for understanding these other icy worlds, potentially leading to new strategies for exploring them and searching for life. In conclusion, the discovery of water ice and potential subsurface briny reservoirs on Ceres is a significant milestone in the field of astrobiology. It opens up exciting possibilities for the presence of microbial life and makes Ceres a prime candidate for future exploration. The findings on Ceres not only enhance our understanding of this dwarf planet but also contribute to the broader quest to understand the distribution and potential for life in the universe. As we continue to explore Ceres and other icy bodies, we may be on the brink of discovering that life is not a rare occurrence but rather a common phenomenon throughout the cosmos. As we piece together the geological history of Ceres, it's clear that these discoveries have far-reaching implications. The Dawn mission has not only enhanced our understanding of this dwarf planet but also paved the way for future explorations. Could Ceres hold the key to finding life beyond Earth? Only time and further exploration will tell. Stay tuned for more updates on this fascinating journey through our solar system. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay informed about the latest space discoveries.